What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have a pile of stuff here uh, that I want to show you guys. Uh, but before I do that, I want to talk about a little bit of building progress that's happening here. So the Torino has, uh, I don't want to say stalled out because I have a desire to work on it. Um, but if you listen to uh, the latest podcast that re we released this week, um, we we were talking about zombie kits and uh, stuff that has kind of sitting on the shelf of shame or, you know, is kind of, you know, it's fallen by the wayside for whatever reason. And um, I have two. Um, one being my motorcycle group build for this year, which is the Tamiya uh, Yamaha YZF500, I believe is the bike. Um, and then I have my street machine group build, which is the um, the Johan uh, Rambler SC, uh, right? Is that what they call it? The SC Rambler. I had it backwards. I knew something wrong right there. Anyway, so um, I threw out an interesting challenge to my buddies and my uh, podcast co-hosts. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it was. You got to go listen. Go listen to the podcast. Um, however, let's just say you. I don't want to... Uh, the, the challenge was to finish one of our zombie builds before New Year's Eve this year, uh, which is also coincidentally the deadline for my Street Machine group build. Um, so well, the challenge, like I said, go listen. Let's just say I did not want to lose this. I do not want to not finish a kit. Um, before New Year's Eve. And because one of my zombie kits is the Street Machine Group build, it only makes sense to get back to work on it. Um, so I'm working on the chassis, fitting things. Uh, I had mentioned that I was not a fan of the engine that was in this kit. Um, and I couldn't figure out what I was going to do. Um, I did make up my mind and settled on this MCV Products uh, Mopar 440 with twin four barrels. Now I'm going to change the exhaust, that kind of stuff, but that's going to be the engine that's in it. Uh, just as a refresh, uh, I've got these Iceman Collections Kragers with BFG tires that are going to go on it. Um, it's going to have a detailed ish trunk, yada, yada, yada. So I'm back on that. Um, so I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and get both of these done. I'm going to work on both of them periodically. So that's the deal. Um, I really, really don't want to not finish this zombie kit. And it's my street machine group build. I can't not finish my own group build. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So um, that's what's going on with that. Now I've got a pile of stuff that I got from um, I got from Hobby Nut, I got from, um, the show I was at, Granite Con, I've got a kit that was given to me that I don't believe I've shown you guys yet, um, I got some paint, and I got some really cool stuff from, uh, VCG Resins by Reese, so Josh sent over a really neat little care package, or pizza box if you will, and um, once again, some of this stuff is going to come in handy on my USAC build. Um, so the USAC build I have until March to finish. I am not going to touch that until I finish one of these. Um, but I also am itching to build, start on this kit, right? So I think it's what's going to happen is... Um, I'm going to finish one of these, I'm going to start this, and then once when the other one is finished, I'm going to start the USAC build. I'm going to collect my parts for that. Uh, I got plenty of time, let's just say. I got plenty of time. Anyway, um, so some of this stuff that I got from VCG is really cool. Um, first off, he sent me this little neat little um, Halloween bundle thing, right? This is cool. This has uh, pumpkins, 
a witch's cauldron, a spell book, a jack-o'-lantern, a broom, and it has clear uh, spell bottles, potion bottles, which is cool. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use these for. Um, not exactly sure, but they're cool to have regardless. I'm sure I could figure out some sort of a little thing I could do with these, but those are cool. Um, check these out. This is so if you go to his website, it's available right now. 10 bucks gets you this whole set, and the stuff is really neat. Uh, <clears throat> then stuff that the rest of this stuff is going to get worked into the USAC build because this is pretty cool. So we've got starters that are ready to go, they're like pre-drilled for wires which is amazing three dollars fifty cents get you three pre-drilled starters which is awesome um in the same token three dollars and fifty cents gets you a pre-drilled alternator and there's three different style alternators in there it looks like there's a chrysler one a gm one and probably a ford one if i was to guess but anyway 350 for three alternators drilled and ready to be wired um, so that's cool start is that that uh, four dollars get you a do-it-yourself custom exhaust kit now this is the clamps so if you're going to make your own exhaust that is like styrene tubing or or soldering or whatever you're going to want to add a little realisticness to it and this is clamps and elbows and an X pipe in there. That's really neat stuff. That's like super high detail stuff, which is cool. Four bucks. Get you that. Um, here's what I'm most excited about. I think this is really neat, and it goes along with the use the the theme for my USAC build. LED headlights. So you get a seven inch LED headlight. It's called a quad torch, which is looks like that, right? very neat um if you go to his website you can see all this stuff up close and get good pictures of it um, but you get four of those and then you get a five and three quarter inch twin sun same thing led lights so we're going to put led lights in the dark for sure um, that's really neat i'm excited to get into that usac build but i gotta finish something first i can't i can't I don't want to turn into one of those guys that has a shelf of shame that's got like 15 kits on it. I can't let that happen. Uh, so that goes there. Now, uh, I, I picked up some more Tamiya rattle cans. Um, because I've got other stuff in mind. What, when I buy my paints, I think of future projects, right? So I've got some future projects in mind. We've got German Grey TS4. That's a really nice color. Make some room over here. Yes, you might have noticed actually. Different view, right? So I kind of moved, I shifted everything over. Um, I rewired my whole desk because we're getting a kitten Saturday. And I wanted to kitten proof everything. The wires were hanging down underneath this desk. It was a mess. I ended up shortening everything up and tucking everything up so you can't see it. And lo and behold, everything was shorter. So I had to, <laughs> had to shift everything over here. It is what it is. Um, let's see. Metallic green, TS-20. Cool color there. Um, TS-53, deep metallic blue. That's a nice color. That's a really nice color. Uh... TS-40 Metallic Black. Good stuff. Uh, TS-30. The good old Silver Leaf. like to have a can of that on hand always. And then I like to have a can of this on hand always. I got uh, TS-26 Pure White. I actually got two cans of this. Um, and I got... The interior color, and I got some TS-13 um, clear. That the white and the interior color are going to be for the Dave Strickler um, altered wheelbase. So that's cool. But anyway, this is going to go on the shelf. I'll find it. I'm sure something to paint with it, right? That's why I bought it. Okay, stack of kits. So, 
We'll start with uh, my neighbor Rick uh, lives right there, actually. Um, emailed me and he said he had some stuff he wanted to bring over. He, he brought over some really cool, uh, I think they're 63 or 4 Chevy 2 SS hubcaps. Really nice, in beautiful shape. I uh, brought a couple of those over, so that's going to be wall art in here somewhere. I don't see much wall space behind me, but I'll find some some place to put it. Anyway, uh, and he gifted me this. This is really cool. Um, this is an original issue from 1958. Ravel. Global van lines, tractor and trailer, HO scale. Uh, like I said, I... <clears throat> check the part number this is he said it was an original issue um he's a small scale guy and i need it i need more small scale kits because you know i don't have very many well now i have a couple anyway here but um this is really cool so this is a full a ford cab uh trail mobile trailer hinged double doors cab tilts forward to show access to engine table four chairs davenport piano cabinet and it's molded in colors this is all that in this little tiny box and when i say little tiny i mean it's little tiny like there's the cab there are the itty bitty wheels uh the itty bitty tires compared to a 125th scale. <laughs> These, this thing is cool. And it is molded in different colors. Uh, it's got the trailer. Right there. Blue for the trailer. Um, it's got a white roof on it. The cab is dark blue. Uh, there's an itty bitty guy that drives it. That's neat. So um, now I have something that I can build for the small scale group build when that comes back around, which is really cool. Thank you, Rick. I really appreciate this. You really, really appreciate this. This thing is cool. So there you have it. This is the first one for me to show you guys. Now, I met up with my buddy Mike um, at Granite Con and uh, got a couple of kits from him, which is really cool. So... I had this kit and I made a trade with my buddy Tony Lancer um, for a Porsche GT3 kit and it involved this kit and I was like I didn't really want to get rid of that kit so I had to get another one um, so I got the um, Ford Del Rio Ranch Wagon 2-in-1 so I got that back back in the stock which is good and then I got the Gremlin uh, Modified Stalker. This is, I think this is going to be a cool kit. Um, looking at the back of the box, the body is in multiple pieces. So this is neat. And the frame doesn't look anything like the Rat Trap Vega uh, Modified Stalker. This looks like it's totally different. So that's cool. Got that from him. Those two kits from him. Um, also, he surprised me, um, Mike, from Mike's Miniatures, I believe it is, uh, has a YouTube channel, Mike's Mods and Customs, and he has a, a hobby shop. Um, he, his thing is custom Hot Wheels in 164th, and he made me a custom replica of my Jeep. That thing is just the coolest. Scratch, ma Scratch built the roll bar to match... Um, I haven't opened this yet, and I don't know if it will. And I kind of don't want... Oh, yeah, it will. Okay. Scratch built the roll bar to match. Put the spare tire in the back. Custom painted it to match my Jeep. Um, yeah. This thing is cool. That's really cool. So, thank you, Mike, if you're watching this. I greatly appreciate this. This, this now lives right here on my desk. Um, so yes, we got those cool kits and we got that from Mike. Mike's a great guy. Love hanging out with him. Um, I'm going to switch this file around. And then, um, uh, <laughs> our good buddy Bob, right? 
Uh, he, we've been hanging out with him. He's the one that gave D, uh, Heather all the D&D stuff. And uh, we hang out with him at all these shows. And um, he really has become a good friend. Of both Heather and I and the channel, obviously. And he's very generous. Uh, he was striking it big um, with the raffle tickets at Granite Con. He brought home... I don't know. I think it was like 30 kits. You know, I mean, some small scale stuff, some big scale. I mean, it was a mixture of stuff. The, the guy, every time I saw him, he's like, want any of these? And he had a huge pile of kits in his hand. I'm like, holy cow. So I did take a couple because he was offering. <laughs> but only a couple. I had to be like, no. No, dude, I can't take any more stuff from you. Bring that home and I don't know, do something with it. But anyway... Um, so the first kit I got from Bob is this Hasegawa Messerschmitt BF109E. That's a cool kit. Um, I don't know much about planes. I'm learning, right? And I'm I'm uh, adding to the collection. This is a 148 scale airplane again. So, and I hear. Hasegawa kits are pretty nice. This one looks pretty nice. This is, I'm not going to lie. Looks, it looks pretty nice. So that's really cool. Uh, but I also have... I want to get into not, not only building planes, I want to get into building some armor too. So I, I grabbed this from Bob. This is a Meng French self-propelled howitzer. In 135th scale. That thing just looks cool. It just looks cool. And what struck me about this. And made me really want to build this. Is I love it in the UN livery. The, the just basic flat white with the UN on the side of it. I think that is just the coolest looking thing. So, we added that to the stash. Um, that is cool. I can't, so I can't wait. Um, another sidetrack, another off-ramp, if you will. Uh, the Modeling Insanity guys are going to launch their version of the turkey shoot. Um, that runs from midnight Thanksgiving Day. All the way through Thanksgiving Day, all day Friday, all night Friday. It runs until Sunday, um, four days. They call it the turkey shoot for obvious reasons, and I've decided I'm jumping in on that. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna build. I have a Tamiya Patton M48A, I think Patton tank. And I'm gonna build that for that, um, and that's gonna be me jumping into building armor with both feet. So. Um, and then I have I have a couple of other tanks. Uh, I have an M47 Patton, I think. Um, and then now I've got this. So this is cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know. I just like the, I like the white UN. I, I don't know. Something just struck me about it. But anyway, we added that. Now, Hobby Nut. Stuff I got from uh, Market Hobby Nut Models. Two really cool kits. Uh, the first is this Tamiya Renault 5 Turbo. A lot of people say that is an ugly car, but I don't see it. I see it as a beautiful car. Look at that. That's cool. So, um, we got that. Comes with a driver, I think. I'm not sure. I think it comes with a figure. It might not. Uh, but either way, that's really neat. The black looks good, but I don't know. The red looks really good. And I feel like this car would look really good uh, in yellow. I don't know. We'll see when it gets time to, to build it. Um, and then last but not least is this Liberty Walk Ken Mary Works um, Skyline four-door police car or paddle car, it says on here. Japanese police car. Um that's neat. That's really cool. I've had I've had this. I don't know. I've had an I've had a desire to build 
a police car and I thought, well, you know what, if I'm going to build a police car, it's going to look like that. So that's a cool kit too. Uh, we added that into the stash. So there you have it. Um, until I get another round of stuff uh, that is coming in the mail, um, that's all I got to show you guys. So um, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate everybody. And I got to get to work on my street machine. So I've got the, the MCV products 440 um, is being, I'm washing it right now, getting all that release agent off of that. And then we're going to put that motor together and then we're going to fit it in the chassis. Uh, and I'm going to have to make custom motor mounts because as I said before, um, the cross member, she's gone. Not a big deal. I'll figure it out. I'll make it work. Um, and I got some aftermarket that 440 doesn't come with header headers and i have a couple pair of mopar headers that i should be able to make work so that'll be fun uh, so that's it until next time thanks for watching thanks for subscribing um, check out everything linked in the description of the video they would appreciate it just as much as i would and uh, i'll see you in the next one whenever that might be who am I kidding? It's going to be this weekend. You know it. You know it will. See you guys.